Sean. Sean, it's me, Corey. Corey, what are you doing here? Well, my best friend's sick. His folks are out of town. I just thought I'd drop by and check on you. I think these bags weigh a ton. But, you know, I just brought over a few little sundries to tide you through. Uh, cough syrup, aspirin. Vapor rub? <laughs> what, you didn't bring me any flowers? Well, actually, I did. I just didn't know if it was appropriate. <laughs> it's not. It's not appropriate. <laughs> now, uh, if you'll excuse me, I, um, I gotta get some sleep. But... <clears throat> Very contagious. Oh, say no more. I'll just... Plug in the humidifier and be on my way. Sean. Claire? Sean? Corey! Really, you don't have to go. Yeah, like I'm not embarrassed enough. Made my mental latum. You know, Sean, if you had plans like this, you didn't have to fake a cold. You could have just told me. No, I couldn't have. Why not? Look, you're just gonna have to trust me on this one, okay? Cool, you won't tell anyone I was here, will you? Well, normally I would have told Sean, but he already knows. Unless he's just a complete idiot. <laughs> you can trust him. Come on. Yes? Sean, we've always told each other everything. Did I say there was nothing to tell? But I just... Did I say there was nothing to tell? Yes, then but you still... Let it go. Sean, you and a girl spent the night together without me. <laughs> now, this is not something you sit around and talk to a friend about. Why is that? Because, because you've moved up to a higher level of intimacy with women and I'm still walking around with my address in my pocket? No, no, don't be so hard on yourself about that one. That's, that's a tough address, three, two, one. <laughs> No, no, this is about where you are and where I'm not. Corey, don't do anything because of me, okay? Sean, I I've been going out with Topanga since, I like, the day I was born, and all we've ever done is kiss. I just think it's time to take it to the next step, okay? Okay. So what is the next step? 